Hi, welcome to Siemens NX video tutorial. It's a follow up to the last one, the simple stand. Now a little bit more advanced stand. It's still kind of easy to do, but it takes more time to do so. But let's have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, first I need a 3D curve, so I go for a studio spline. And let's start like this here. Turn it around, go up a little bit and down a little bit. Obviously it's not, yeah, it's okay, but it doesn't fit. So let's go for a fit. Okay. Then I need a plane on that curve, perpendicular to that curve, so go for datum plane, choose on curve, select the curve, and the position of that plane should be at 0% of that arc length. Number to path, that's OK, and confirm. Next I want to draw a polygon with a sketch on that plane, so go for a sketch, select that plane, confirm would be nice to have an intersection point. Let's see, where is that intersection point? There you go. Confirm. And then I want to place a polygon right there. You could go for any kind of polygon. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sided, 10 sided, whatever you want. The more sides you choose, the longer it will take to create that stand. So let's go for just a triangle. That would save some time. The procedure is the same with six, five, seven, whatever number of sides you wanna choose. So where is the polygon? It's right there. Yeah, it's a polygon. Let's go for three sides. And the center point should be this one here. Okay, and then Rotation could be zero. Radius might be, let's go for a radius of, let's see. Doesn't really matter, but the rotation I want it to be zero. And okay. Close that tool. Now I want to add a construction circle just to control that here. Yes. And that's okay. Make this one here. That's 240. That's too much. So let's go for a diameter of, let's say, 40. Yeah. Okay. And this should be for construction purposes only. Finish that sketch. Next, I want to go for a swept. So go for a swept. So this should be the profile, which is swept. So go for connected curves. That's OK. And the curve would be this one. And I want to rotate it around that, along that curve. So let's see what do we have. And of course, it's parameter, that's OK. Orientation should not be fixed. It should be uh, angular law. And I want to go for first for 3600, which means that's 10 times 360, which means it should give me 10 turns. That's OK. Scaling is constant, yes. And I want to go for a solid and confirm. Now I want to extract those edges. I will need another swept with minus 3600 along that curve. So first extract those edges. Go to home, go to more, go to extract geometry. There you go. And I want to go for a composite curve, yes. Not single curve, but tangent curves. That should do. Associative, yes. Hide the original, yes. That's 
okay yeah so select first this edge here first this one apply then this one apply and then that one and confirm gives me three curves let's hide that swept just to check this looks okay then I will need another swept let's hide those curves uh, where's my swept go to surface go to swept select again that triangle select the same curve but now I want to go in the other direction angle law yes and I want to go for minus three thousand six hundred and confirm now again go for extract geometry it should be up here yes select first edge confirm second edge confirm third edge okay hide that swept here yeah, again three curves and now we got six curves all together hide that sketch here and maybe hide that plane as well and I could hide that spline so now we have to go for this sweeps along a guide why a sweep along a guide because the tubes will not work in all circumstances I've tried and I almost always ran into a problem with the tube feature. Now I will need a circle for all those composite curves, for every composite curve. Let's start with the first one. This one. Okay. You could do it with a sketch and a plane. First you would have to create a plane normal to that curve here, to that composite curve, and then draw a circle. I want to do it with uh, wireframe geometry. It doesn't really matter. In this program, both will work. So let's go to our curve. Go for an arc or circle. And the point will be the end point or start point. Let's go for an end point of this curve here confirm then I want to go for a radius and that radius might be for or two millimeter let's go for two millimeter and the plane I have to create a plane and that plane would be normal to a curve on curve so let's go for this one because that's the support plane and I need that support plane again it's zero arc length and on the path, that's okay and confirm and confirm it's a full circle it's this associative which means i've got that small circle here and you will have to do this for all six composite curves so i will of course stop the recording and then proceed after i've done all those circles same procedure go for that arc circle define it like the first one and it should work in the end okay I've created those six arcs which I need and now I want to go for a sweep along guide six times so let's see let's go to surface go to more go to sweep along guide and the first would be this arc here and the curve would be the first composite curve and I want to go for solid. What's nice, I could change the radius why with those offsets, but I don't want to do it. And super solid, yes, and apply. Now let's go for the second arc and the second composite curve. Apply. Then go for the third arc and the third composite curve apply go for the fourth one and the fourth 
composite curve, apply the fifth circle and the fifth composite curve, apply and the sixth and the last composite curve and confirm. Looks pretty good and the more vertices or sides your polygon has, the narrower that mesh will be. Okay. Next I want another sweep along guide. I need a circle. I could do it with a sketch or with an arc again. Now I want to use the first datum plane. And I need a circle right there. And it would be, of course, the circle from the first sketch. So it would be, of course, that circle, which is not visible because I've set it on construction. And if you remember, I used a diameter of 40 millimeters. So I want to go for a sketch on that plane here. And I want that intersection point. Where's my spline? There you go. And I need again the intersection point. This one here. Okay. And let's put a circle right there. And that diameter doesn't really matter, but I want to go for 40 because I will use that sweep along guide and then I can use those offsets. Let's take a look here. Yes, so I want to use an offset of 0 0.5 in both directions and then I want to make that sweep along guide and after that I will make an intersection of all those sweeps here with the last one. So where is it? I want to use that sweep along guide. Okay, that's a profile, that's okay. And the curve would be that spline here, this one. And I want to use an offset. So let's see. I want to go for 0 0.5 in one direction and 0 0.5 in the other direction. So that should be minus 0 0.5 if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Is that okay? Seems like this should be okay. Yes, it should be a solid. Yes, and let's confirm this. Hide the datum plane, hide that spline, hide this sketch and that sketch. And now I want to make an intersection, a boolean intersection of this one with those six sweeps, which should give me that shape I, I'm aiming for. Okay, let's go to the home tab and Go for intersect, which should be here with the trim body. Now I want to intersect that last sweep here, so go for intersect. Target would be that last sweep, and the tools are the six sweeps before. And I don't want to keep the target, and I don't want to keep the tool in this case. So I'll select the first one, second one. And with every selection, it will take a little bit longer. So if you go for a more sided polygon in the beginning, it will take even longer. Or you have a faster PC than me. 
So now I should have selected all of them. Or did I forget one? Let's check. From every point there should be two. Yes, that's okay. And let's confirm this. And this gives me one solid. And the problem with the tubes is it will create error messages. So I went for the sweep along guide. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it and enjoyed it. So if you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could also watch my new Siemens NX or my new Katia V5 training course on LinkedIn Learning because you can do a free, free trial month over there. Anyway, you could follow me also, on, of course, on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.